Hello and welcome to York News, a brief look at what's new and what's happening in York County. I'm Gail Whitaker. Coming up on this edition of York News, the Tab Library is hosting an opportunity for kids to run a model railroad. And there's one last opportunity to catch the Cabin Fever concert series. We are not in reality going to give you everything you asked for because it's too painful to do so unless it's going to be really a great argument. Up first, the Board of Supervisors held its most recent meeting on Tuesday, February 2nd. At the meeting, the board held a joint work session with the York County School Board and held a discussion about the Capital Improvements Program. The next regular meeting of the Board of Supervisors is scheduled for 6 p.m. on Tuesday, February 16th in the boardroom of York Hall. There are two public hearing items scheduled for this meeting. A request for a special use permit authorizing a beauty shop as a home occupation at 415 Dare Road and a request for a special use permit authorizing the establishment of a storage shed sales display business at 6021 George Washington Memorial Highway. Public hearings begin at 7 p.m. This meeting will be televised live on WYCG-TV. Programs scheduled for broadcast will be preempted by the live board meeting. Board of Supervisors meetings are retelecast on WYCG-TV Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 11 a.m., 7 p.m., and 11 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday at 3 p.m. For more information about Board of Supervisors meetings, please visit www.yorkcounty.gov BOS. And our goals for the upcoming year. The Board of Supervisors is currently Remember seeking now, students interested in representing in youth interests um, and concerns by serving on the York County Youth Commission for the 2016-2017 school year. Applicants must be York County residents who are currently enrolled in grades 8 through 11 in a public, private, or home school. A completed application and a letter of recommendation must be received in the York County Parks, Recreation, and Tourism Office by 5 p.m. on Wednesday, March 9th. The Youth Commission's primary purpose is to serve as a link between the board and the county's youth by representing youth-related needs and issues. Members conduct student surveys, report findings to the supervisors and to the school board, and much more. Applications are available online at www.ycyc.info. Forms are also available at the Yorktown and Tab Libraries, the Williamsburg James City County Public Library, the Victory YMCA, and the Parks Recreation and Tourism Office located at 100 County Drive. For more information, please call Parks Recreation and Tourism at 890-3500. That makes you an outstanding person. That makes you achiever. Outstanding Youth Award Scholarship nominations in the categories of Compassion, Courage, Community Service, and Overall Achievement are due in the Parks, Recreation, and Tourism Office by 5 p.m. on Wednesday, February 17th. Anyone can nominate a deserving high school student for one of these awards. A selection committee will review the nominations and choose an award recipient for each category. The four recipients will each receive one of the educational scholarships and be formally recognized at a meeting of the Board of Supervisors in May. Nomination forms are available at www.ycyc.info. Forms are also available at the libraries in York County and Williamsburg James City County and the Parks, Recreation and Tourism Office at 100 County Drive. For more information, please call 890-3500. <laughs> Registration for the popular 4-H Junior Camp for residents of York County and Pocosin will open at 8 a.m. on Monday, February 29th and is available online only. The camp is scheduled for August 8th through 12th at the Jamestown 4-H Center in Williamsburg. Question makes me feel good. You're next. 4-H Junior Camp is a residential week-long summer camp program available to youth ages 9 to 13. It provides young people with countless opportunities for learning more about themselves, their peers, and the natural world around them. For more information, visit www.yorkcounty.gov VCE or call 890-4940. Put it on your head. <laughs> Four! <laughs> and... 
five. We've the York County Arts Commission invites all individuals and organizations to apply for grants in the arts that benefit the citizens of York County. Eligibility for a project grant must meet certain criteria. For a complete list of criteria and for grant applications, visit www.yorkcounty.gov slash parks and rec or stop by the Parks, Recreation, and Tourism office. The deadline to apply is Friday, March 4th. Art at the River is pleased to announce the special exhibit at Yorktown's third annual juried art show in May. Student art will be selected from York County's four high schools and will be exhibited in the freight shed on Sunday, May 8th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Exhibited artwork will be selected by art teachers from the high schools. For complete information about Art at the River, please visit www.artattheriver.com. The Cabin Fever Concert Series concludes next month with a March 3rd concert featuring the Jennifer Gamble Jazz Band. The concert is held in the freight shed at Riverwalk Landing. Doors open at 6.30 with the performance beginning at 7. Seats are available on a first-come, first-served basis. For more information, visit www.visityorktown.org or call 890-3500. The Kids Run Trains Model Train Club will be bringing their interactive modular layout to the Tab Library on Saturday, February 20th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m and on Sunday, February 21st, from 1 to 3 p.m. If you have any interest in model railroading, this is a great opportunity to come out and have fun running trains on a large layout. The interactive layout allows children of all ages to operate the railroad and introduces the hobby to families through the interactive experience. Through educational outreach in local schools, public displays, and partnership with nationwide clubs, Kids Run Trains is introducing children, young and old, to model railroading in a fun and interactive environment. For more information, or if you would like to bring an O-Gage train to run on the layout, please contact Russ Meyer at 647-4555 or email him at kidsruntrains at gmail.com to schedule a time to run your train on the club's layout. And finally, all York County offices and courts, libraries, social services, and Virginia Cooperative Extension offices will be closed Monday, February 15th in observance of Washington's birthday, also called President's Day. Garbage and recycling collections are not affected by the holiday. That's all for this edition of York News. Please join us on February 24th for the next edition of York News. Until then, thanks for watching.